Guys, we are back. This is episode number five of turning one penny, one penny into $35,000 all live in the thrift store. Oh, you've got mail. I, 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 I got, I got the internet like going nuts. Now, if you guys have been following the series, I appreciate it. If you haven't, here is a playlist where you guys can view the last four episodes of this series. Now, as I mentioned in every intro of the video, every like I am donating one penny to Feeding America. In the last episode, we did get a ton of likes. We've earned over $300 so far. So please, if you're watching this, just stop, pause, take the time to hit the like button. If I could get in one episode, half of the people who watch to hit the like button, that would be a huge dub. So please, man, just smash that thing and let's run up these pennies towards a huge donation at the end of this series. Now, with that being said, man, last episode, I picked up a ton of items, a ton of clothes. And since that time, I have made 53 sales. And here are all of these sales I made. I just had a screenshot them because it was a lot. And hold on, let me whip out the phone to break down the profit. Because last episode, I had a nice fat savings of $1,419.33. And off the 53 sales I made, I profited $1,159.30. And I made a profit on shipping of $143.94. Since. Now in this episode, when you add up the savings of my shipping profit with my sales profit, we have a grand total of $2,722.57. Now wait, before I get too excited, I did finally have to get fuel because really this has only been five days of driving my van, but I did get drained at the pump for some change. Ah, oh my God! But I mean, dude, with like over two grand in this episode, we definitely are gonna run it up. Especially since today the thrifts are half off. So I'm gonna go try and get as many steals and deals as humanly possible. And I also am gonna take this profit because I can't really blow it in the thrift and go to a vintage pop-up and see how many items I can acquire for $5 to really build up my inventory and hopefully snowball all of my profit into eventually reaching my goal of paying off my house, which I am $35,000 away from doing. I really just wanna be free, escape the matrix, not have to work as hard to make money because I'd much rather spend quality time with my son and my family. So I am laser focused on this mission and uh, we're gonna try and make it happen, Captain, with as much profit, fines, steals and deals as we can. So without further ado, let's hop in the car and get to the first thrift. Keep my mind on my money, nigga, fuck the fame. Big face hunters, keep in the game. Hitting a cone in a can of thing. Sitting on leather, gripping the ground. So we just arrived. It is early in the morning. I am so tired. My baby woke up at like one, three, five, and seven. But we are here. I'm gonna be the third person in line, but it is a half off day. So I'm about to fully redeem all of the items that were overpriced in last episode hopefully they are still here and if so i'm going to grab them now i'm going to go straight gopro all the way up because on half off days i just have to go ham i gotta go in and grab everything that i possibly can now i told y'all man this whole series is literally just flexing and finessing and half off days are definitely a way to achieve that i'm gonna go through like every single clothing item in this store and then might go to another one after this but without further ado Let's go first person perspective. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! What's up, bro? I'm good, bro. How are you? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, hi. This jersey is hard for no reason. There we go. Wolf encrusted, three dollars. Then you got the reds, multicolored, seven, three fifty. All right, let's go. John Lynch, you size, not. Nah. Oh, call me rude, boy, boy. Can you get it out? What? Jeez, the B Manchester United. Rest in peace. One dollar. That's so sad. 
Honestly though, probably get it because this AIG will come off clean. Oh dude, this button up is so sick. That vintage roper. Yes sir, we stay shooting ropes, baby. Look at the multicoloredness on the aqua kind of speckled frame. Yes, originally set. All right, y'all let me know, man. They got the Tasmanian Devil Toon Squad jersey, but it does look a little beat up. They also got the Robert Marley Legend tee. I just sold one of these, so yeah, I got a double up. Dang, this Nike hoodie is kind of hard. 15, about seven bucks. The like chalkboard design, I think I might. Oh, that is gorgeous. The jacket with all the patches. Tony Stewart, it's a classic. Look at the little NASCAR hit, all embroidered. Seven. Seven. Come on. Guys, look at these, man. Baby Jordan 13s. These will make perfect planters. Perfect. They're absolutely disgusting. And then I found the Nike Air Too Strongs. These are size nine and a half. The only discrepancy is that little chippage, but these are a classic. 90s shoe this is actually a san antonio spurs david robinson colorway so yes all right so real quick here goes the car breakdown man in super hd crazy little shorts right there you got the polo rafflerin swiss i also found this polo rafflerin it is like a russian collab so I don't really know if this is the best time to be copying a pro russia gear hold up you got the tony stewart seven again everything is gonna be half off i'm pretty sure i gotta get the chalkboard nike hoodie it just is pretty cool so why not a couple things for my son y'all already know the mickey vans in hd with the zipper on the back kit and then the foam posits if these do not work or clean up then i'm definitely gonna turn these dudes into some planters but yeah i mean car full of stuff let's go ahead and skedaddle because i'm trying to hit up another store on this half off extravaganza all right guys we're out of there dude i spent 68 dollars in however many cents that said actually i didn't though because some dude who did not have half off wanted me to buy him a fanny pack and a bracelet so that cost eight dollars so really i spent sixty dollars and 78 cents i think that's what the total was but uh yeah, shout out that guy. People at thrift stores, stay approaching me with the weirdest like situations. Like one dude was like, hey bro, can you please buy me some clothes, da da da. So I bought him some shit last episode. I didn't include that though, because I didn't find anything for myself in that store. But anyways, the the morning is still yet young, so we gotta hit up another one. Swear to God, I'm a so hard. All right, guys, here we go. Approaching the next spot, another family thrift center. You guys have seen this store before, but not lately on a half off day. So let's see what we can dig up. Making planters out of these. Uh oh. There we go, dude. Little Nike shouts. Fly like a pigeon in my true religions. They also got the horse encrusted Ralphies. Seven. Seven. Guys, this pattern is so sick. These are three dollars. Oh, this is Ralph too. Polo Ralph Lauren. Okay, guys. So we're not going hands free anymore, dude. I already went through a lot of this stuff as quick as I could but I found some kicks for the young and for my son. I named him Griffin, but I call him Griffy after King Griffey Jr. And guys, we got some Griffies in the thrift. These are a little bit beat, which is fine though for a child because uh, just know he's gonna be on the playground cutting up in these bangers. I'm trying to see what the price is. I don't see a price on these, which is really bad because that means they won't sell them to me. Oh, there's some. I think they're like two dollars and something cents. So yes. So I pretty much have made all of my final selections. They're here on the shopping cart. 
and let's go ahead and check them out. So I got some things for the personal collection, AKA my son, Polo Ralph Lauren, is scuba diving polo bear onesie, all right? The Air Jordan brand onesie, dinosaur encrusted onesie, and then of course to flip, you got two wolves making out, and then kind of a, a more seductive piece, longer, harder, faster. What? It's everything she wants except this last word. But uh, yeah, this is pretty hilarious as a shirt. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get that. You have the 90s golf tee encrusted, or maybe this is just some carpenter swag with a bunch of nails, multicolored, life is better with a dog, and then some shorts. You guys saw me pull the Nikes all embroidered on the upper butt bone, $3 polo Ralph Lauren, looking like a Native American couch texture. And then you also have the horse encrusted seer sucker for 15. Now a couple other things in cart. You guys know for the planters, I had to grab this nice little uh, accumulation of flowers right here. Got the Griffies for my son. And then also got some Adidas to turn into planters. And that's it. This store did not have much, but I pulled up like an hour after um, the opening ceremonies. So. Not too shabby for daddy. Let's get them all. So in this episode, because I have a large budget to work with, I actually am going to hit up a pop-up, which I'm at right now in downtown Houston. It's piece by piece by the homies at Bounce Back. And I'm going to use my money to invest in terms of buying a bunch of items at this pop-up to then flip. So a lot of people do $5 piles where clothes are just stacked up. It's items that can't really move, that might have a little bit of damage. So without further ado, it's bright, it's hot in this parking lot. Let's mount up with the GoPro, get in, and see how many $5 bangers I can pull at one vintage event. Let's get it. Okay guys, we're going up the stairs right now, and I'm gonna warn you in advance, the audio might be jacked, but hey, we still out here cooking with it. Let's get ready to rumble! All right, first $5 table. Paris Gangster. That little Minnie Mouse, crispy. Dude, this shirt is so sick. Oh, the armadillo hitting a sprint. This is really hard too. Hell yeah, on the gilding, but hey man, it's duck hunting season. Megadeth, ill. Another little car tee. Pretty damn hard. Damn, this is so ill. It's stained up, but this is hard as fuck. Dude, the ski tee, yes. Hey, do y'all care if I like pile these somewhere? Like right here? Like everything I'm about to get? All right, bet. Appreciate y'all, man. Stained up. Adidas, youth soccer, that's hard. Hard. The Grave Digger, what is this? This is like a size small, still sick though. Saucing like a dolphin. Ooh, that Grateful Dead, new school was still cool. Trippy Red, tough. I hate a goofy especially. So I got 37 items at Azteca Vintage. Yeah, what's up? Big ass pile in his hand. Let's run it up, what's man. Up? Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, First move dropped to 185. Now it's on to the next. We got Josh VP Benz in the building. Up, they got steals, they got deals. So what is it? $3 Benz, $5 Benz? Uh, we got $1 tees, $3 crew necks, $5 jackets, $10 denim, $3 kids items. All right. And $50 pillow bags. Woo, I 
I might have to do that. You know I might try it. Jesse cashing me out. There it is. 50 bucks, fill a bag, and I don't have to fill up one of my duffels. So it's even better. We got it Appreciate all for you, man. All right, we're with the homies from the biz. Let's see what y'all's $5 card got. Hey, Jesse. Hey, oh, this is hard right here. I'm just trying to grab as many steals as I can. Oh, this shit is sick. This is hard, bro. Ooh, what size are these? Oh my God, look at this, man. Hey, Puma Life. We still recording? Straight up, yes, sir. I need that. Bro, I always need the vintage Puma stuff. Hey, what y'all got on these, bro? My size, what you got on these? Come on, man. Let's go. Little car tee. All right, I'm gonna grab this one. Kind of stained up, but fuck it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's all me right here. University of Texas. <laughs> then you got the A&M trash. It looks like there's some ball blood on there, bro. Just count me up, dog. See, one, two, three, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, and then the 60. 60 bucks. Let's run it. Alright, I got this hat, so I gotta add another 20 to the tab. Hey, that's booth number three. Two high bros in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The homie Mark as well out here. Hey, grab some gear. Amazing. And some shoes for myself. I love it. This the five? Hell yeah. All right. Yes, sir. All right, then I went in on the fourth booth. The homie Isaiah and Ronnie also are always at the bins, so I had to try and show love. They were right next to the speaker though, so that's why there's no audio for this little segment. Then I pulled up on yet the fifth booth. Another one. And the homie Robert was here with a ton of items. He also frequents the bins. So I did grab a nice selection of 11 pieces for a total of 55 bucks. Then last and most assuredly not least, I hit this booth where this entire rack was $5. Custom tie-dye tees. I helped myself and absolutely went off on these steals. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 
boy ain't no way. I only have been in here for like an hour, but I got four ginormous duffels full of clothes. I don't know how much I spent, but it all is like cash app aside from 50 bucks. Now I'm gonna unload these clothes. I think I might go back in there, see what else I can grab. Hopefully my battery is still withstanding. If not, I'll see you guys at the house. And all right guys, so it is the next day. And as y'all can see, I have two big yellow bags. So I did go back and I spent another $64 with the good fellows at VP Bins. And so my total current savings is $1,903.35. So yes, at that one event, I spent a total of $659 and I bought about 127 t-shirts there, roughly speaking, or more so items than t-shirts. So if you guys want anything from today's video, check out thriftheavenvintage.com. The link is in the video description. Stay tuned for the next episode and I will catch you guys up on all the sales I made from today's thrifting adventure. It definitely was a whirlwind. And again, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Let's get some meals to families in need. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I love reading you guys' comments. So hit me with anything in the comment section and I'll see y'all soon. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.